Okay, how to make gears the easy way. This works for any gear ratio as long as you make the diameter equal to the number of teeth. I'm going to do an 18 to 12 ratio as an example. It could be anything. Start off with your cylinder, 18 diameter. And you need twice the number of segments as you've got teeth. Uh, so that's 36 because you've got your gaps as well as your teeth. Of course, uh, right click your spinners to get it in the zero zero spot. Uh, copy it off, make uh, make it a different colour if you want. And uh, this one's going to be 12 on the diameter, 6 on the radius. And we need 24 segments to get our 12 teeth. Add the radius to, well, radii together in your head and uh, that gives you the X position for your second gear. Right, we can clone the first one and give it one more on the radius. Clone it again and subtract one off the radius. Repeat with the next gear, clone it, increase the radius by one, clone it again, make another clone and minus one from the radius always one doesn't matter what size gears you're doing and then you can freeze those and what you need to do now is obviously just uh, well you select every other polygon this is a bit of a long-winded way of doing it okay and now just bevel these out to your first marker that's your pitch circle diameter that marks the pitch circle diameter bearing in mind that the edges have to converge on the center so you have to give them a bit on the outline amount then you can finish the, do the curvy bit with about three bevels I think is enough just guessing that curves enough then uh, Again, laboriously select every other polygon. Damn it. And bevel out to the straight to the pitch circle diameter. And give them a bit, a bit on the outline. Continue to bevel outwards to create the curve. I'm only guessing the shape of these these curves. Okay, you can unfreeze everything and delete these uh, markers off, and that's starting to look like two gears. You need to uh, just sort this out by. Uh, you know, to flatten the sides, but just make them plain R and Z, and restore their positions to whatever thickness you wanted. Uh, okay, that's the model inside of it done. Now you need to uh, right-click on any of the gears and bring up your uh, wire parameters kit and uh, connect them on the Z rotation. Uh, and you need to put in that little formula there that the rotation is, is the number of teeth divided by the number of teeth on the others on the other gear whoops that's wrong uh, I'm using the I'll use the uh, schematic uh, to bring up the uh, wire parameters dialog again I need to make that minus because obviously the driven gear has to go in the opposite direction so that's fixed it there it is works works first time usually does and done